Hello and welcome my beautiful Capricorns. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for May the 6th to the 12th. My apologies, these are getting out late. Uh, they are due today though, but I've had a lot of appointments for my husband, uh, medical appointments because he's dealing with some health issues. So I apologize for that. So same cards, I've taken time to deal them all out this time and ask spirit what you need to see, know and expect. Keep in mind, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Capricorn out there. So take what it does and throw the rest out into the universe. Starting off, we've got let go of burdens. And this is your download message. So you could be dealing with some uh, leftover residual energy from problems that you've had dealing with people uh, or things that have let you down and disappointments uh, to this point. So the universe and the powers that be are saying, let go of those burdens. Don't carry them anymore. Throw them out into the universe and ask spirit to take them away you want a fresh start this week so whatever has let you down in the past or even last week let it go let it go you've got capable you can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances come up so see letting go of those burdens and realizing that you're stronger and you've learned through those problems to move forward and go towards your new goals with uh with you know the feeling of knowing that you're capable of doing this and the universe is saying you are coming in next you've got confrontation pick your battles wisely there could be some uh but coming in towards you who wants to pick a fight with you this week or an argument or a debate so this is about not getting involved in anybody else's burdens right let go of them or anybody else's drama this week so try to avoid that at all cost the next card you've got is stay present and and you know it says that's where life happens so um it's okay to lose ourselves in our dreamland wanting to anticipate what's going to happen in the next nano moment or thinking back of the past but right now you're being asked to be very present being asked to pay attention to all the little details that you're going to be confronted with this week okay pay attention to all of that also you know it's about watching you know body language and um, trusting your intuition and those gut feelings so there's that little voice of inner voice of wisdom that says mm, you better pay attention to what they just said or what they just did or what you just heard okay past present future beginning middle end of the week possibly what have we got well your first card you've got is the devil and this is a card of addictive behavior you know overindulging um or allowing yourself or enabling something that's holding you back and it's time now for you to let go of it and burst uh, you know break those chains of whatever's holding you back making healthy decisions and choices letting go of toxic energy relationships and unfulfilling situations in your life that aren't rewarding you with the hard work and effort that you're putting into something but also it's about uh, letting go about moded you know it, your mindset um you know you might have to just step away from something it could be that's that's creating um you being held back and not allowing you to move forward making these decisions to do that page of swords comes in something is going to happen here that's going to make you excited and you're going to see the truth in a situation as well pages bring us these messages so you could be hearing about something um that <clears throat> this particular page though is often referred to as blurting something out without tact or uh any feeling whatsoever you could be hearing something through gossip too that was actually meant for you to hear so don't attack the messenger just take the message but you may be hearing something here that has made you finally say you know what i heard the truth i'm out of here coming in next you have the six of cups oh you could be reconnecting with somebody from a distance or from your past somebody could be returning could be a friend a colleague it could have been um, somebody you had an intimate relationship with a really a romantic relationship you may hear about them it could be through social media or you they may be returning and uh, you might get a text or a call from them or a letter this is uh you know getting together with somebody this is about allowing your inner child to come out you could be dealing with children this week engaging with them and having some fun um, or you could be just daydreaming about your childhood and reminiscing about your past and romanticizing about it you could be again like I say you could be reconnecting with somebody who became distanced or who could 
is returning from a distance. They may have moved away. Life got in the way, right? The fool. You're nobody's fool, my beautiful Capricorns. Let that be clear and concise. Uh, you're ready to take a leap of faith and try something new. Maybe you're going to reconnect a friendship here. Maybe there's going to be closure and forgiveness brought into the equation, whereby you're going to take a leap and say, okay, I'm going to give you another chance. But you could also be going towards a goal here, something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time and you've been planning it. And as long as you continue planning it and you get everything that you need, all your ducks in a row, and your I and your T's dotted, you're going to be able to do this. Remember what I say, don't jump off that cliff till you check your parachute. Coming in next, you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is that charging energy, that is that fast-moving energy, charging towards something here that you want to see come to pass, but you need to pull back on those reins a little bit. Don't go rushing in too quickly. Don't go signing any documents or legal papers without reading between the lines. Consumer beware. Once it hits the ink hits the paper, it's a done deal. So something exciting that's going to get you going. It could also be your knight in shining armor charging towards you. Two of Wands, yeah, streaming about what can be partnership. Often this is partnership and business. You could be planning a trip for business or for pleasure or both. But this is about you looking across the horizon here, waiting for that ship to come in, your success. You're coming into your own, my beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Coming in next in the center of the week, um, you could be feeling this energy now. You have the Eight of Swords getting up in your head, doing that stinking thinking, presuming and assuming that something's not going to work out because you are not allowing yourself to step out of your way. So this is a card that says get out of your head because the only thing stopping this success coming into you is your mindset because the King of Pentacles shows up and that is the Midas Touch card. This is a card that says, you know, you're going to be able to go through wonderful doors of opportunity holding your head up with confidence. This is success. This King of Pentacles is generally very successful in business and money situations. So you could be dealing with bankers and um, you could be dealing with lending and loaning institutions, things like that as well. But this is a card of wonderful, wonderful success and knowing that no matter what you do, you're going to come out ahead of the game. Next in the center position, you have the temperance card. So taking your time, pulling back, not making any fast or rash decisions uh, or choices at this time. The universe is sending you a message to say, be patient. Things are going to come in, you know, think, uh, and you can be planning in behind the scenes without having to get out there and, you know, be in, uh, be right in the midst of it. Temperance is that card of moderation thinking about things and taking your time, but knowing that you're being guided and protected by the spirit and the divine, giving you these little messages to slow down. Queen of Rods, woo, confidence. Yes, exuding immense confidence, going for your goals, not being afraid. She is that queen that when people doubt her, she's fought her way to get where she is. She flips on the bird and she says, all you doubters, watch me. So stepping up into your confidence level now, going after your goals, planning those moves and being careful about them, not rushing in too quickly. Coming in next, Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. Yes, it's getting better all the time, my beautiful Capricorn. This is that card that says you should congratulate yourself. You've accomplished a lot and now it's time to enjoy what you've worked hard for. So, you know, you're in a state of emotional fulfillment. You've got everything you need to be happy now. This is a time of satisfaction, abundance and prosperity that's coming into you. So treat yourself to something special. You deserve it. Coming in with that is the beautiful Empress. Yes, being able to nurture things and watch them come into fulfillment here. I love this card because it is all about, uh, you know, being able to move forward in a positive direction and, you know, expressing yourself. This is the ultimate mother. What she nurtures, she sees grow. She nurtures her family. She nurtures everything. And this is about you. What you nurture, you're going to see this success coming into. So pick something that you want to nurture. But also there could be the announcement that's going to make you happy of uh, a child being born in the family or an adoption. Coming in in the last row could be the end of the week. Uh, future energy, you've got the tower. And this is sudden change, okay? This is a change that comes in abruptly. And you have to be faced with what are you going to do? 
okay this is about you saying mm, not going to allow this to happen to me again i'm going to step up and i'm going to make a bigger and better foundation something here may have been on an unsteady foundation to begin with and it was inevitable it was going to end and come crashing down so you're going to rebuild something new you don't want to be in this situation anymore this is a card of ultimate change and it's going to bring you satisfaction at the end of the day sometimes these things come in as a blessing in disguise because it makes us go after what we want it makes us nurture what we want it makes us be determined and be confident and go after what we want and at the end of the day what do you get ultimate satisfaction financial stability financial um you know feeling um feeling satisfied within your home life your relationships this is a wonderful card the ten of pentacles is that card of ultimate satisfaction when it comes to your finances it's a beautiful card that says get ready for stability okay you've reached the final point of financial stability and abundance and your home is your haven and you're happy there and you've created an inviting space for everybody there enjoy your well-deserved success but something changed suddenly that made you have to go after something here to get this now Coming in next, we have the Emperor. Now you had the Empress, now you got the Emperor. And this is about being logical and organized and sitting in the seat of power with confidence. Some of you might be stepping out and becoming your own boss, your own entrepreneur. You may be opening your own business. You are in control of your emotions and what it is you want. Confidence, double message. Can't say much more about that. You are definitely stepping up to the plate and you're sitting in the seat of, seat of control and power. You've got it made. Oh my goodness, what a week. Okay, your final card coming in here is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is that card that says you're trying to make a decision here, okay? Um, <clears throat> but don't worry because you have this ability to choose what you want but remember what i've said before everything that glitters isn't gold be wise be careful be conscientious and mindful of the choices that you make you want something that's going to last the test of time and give you longevity and serve you to your greater good uh, lots of opportunities and choices that could make you feel a little overwhelmed take your time because you've got the nine of pentacles and you have the ten and the nine of pentacles is you walking in your garden of abundance you know you finally achieved your abundance and you're reaping prosperity as a reward of your persistent efforts so you know sacrifice and hard work have resulted in this 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 beautiful garden of plenty here for you so you're going to be able to enjoy the finer things now you're going to be making the right choices and decisions that are going to be bringing you this success what a great week my beautiful capricorns definitely you are <clears throat> always excuse me known as the achievers well my beautiful capricorns this is your general reading and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic happy healthy and successful week and always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon